Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I just want to talk about discouragement. <sighs> well, what got me to want to talk about this is because today I hit a milestone for me um, on my channel. I hit 10,000 subscribers. <sighs> and so it just got me thinking about how many times, like how long of a process this, took, this was and how much like perseverance and growth and you know just ups and downs and feeling discouraged and feeling insecure and all those things that I dealt with getting here even though it's not like 10,000 is just a small a small like milestone to where I want to get you know what I mean like not that I mean 10,000 people is still 10,000 people it's insane but if you watch YouTube videos you see people who have like millions you know what I mean but it doesn't mean that I'm not grateful or feeling like I'm feeling so blessed. You have no idea. Um, so anyway, first of all, thank you to my amazing, loving angel subscribers. I just, I'm so appreciative of you, appreciate, appreciative of you and all the love and support you give me, <sighs> even through my stupidity. <laughs> That's first and foremost, but I wanted to film this because it made me start thinking about um, just all the doubts I've had and, and just dealing with discouragement in different areas of my life. So I did want to just mention that and talk a little bit about that. But also because um, you guys know on my channel, I'm about motivation and empowerment and just um, vision and all that. So last month in January, we discussed motivation and focusing and um, and how basically you're on that high and it dwindles down. So. You may be at that point right now where you're just a little bit sluggish, you're not as motivated anymore, and and or you're just feeling discouraged um, in your life, where you're at in your career, um, you know, with fulfilling a you know a goal or dreams you have, or whether it's finding love or just any kind of situation that you're in, and you're dealing with discouragement. I just want to kind of talk about it, and you know, I've talked about it in my last not my last video, last month in January about motivation and focus and all that and how it dwindles down. So it's important to keep ourselves in check. And so I kind of want to go through that again and just share a little bit of my story, you know? So if you're not familiar with my motivation video, I will link it somewhere either down below or up here. Um, but just to recap that, staying clear of distractions, um, having a vision in front of you, um, learning where your source of energy is from and then thriving off of that. Gaining confidence, which is so important. And then also setting yourself apart from others. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to recap that. Aside from motivation, I really just want to talk about discouragement because first of all, I just want to say that we all deal with discouragement. There's not a person on, on this earth that has not felt some kind of insecurity or dealt with some kind of discouragement or been in a rut before. Um, no, ma no matter how great their life seems, no matter how beautiful that you think that they are, they may be dealing with some sort of, kind of insecurity or have had some kind of let down in their life so if you're feeling like that and you're feeling alone like just want to encourage you i just want to let you know like everyone goes through that including myself you know to bring it back to the fact that i just today reached 10,000 subscribers yes i know on youtube world it's not a lot but to me um it is a goal that i said and is a milestone camera shutting off um, it is a milestone, my first milestone here on YouTube. Um, and if you've been watching for a while or if you've watched past videos or you know me, then you know that I've been dabbling in YouTube for quite a while. This wasn't like an overnight thing. <laughs> wasn't a year thing. Like This camera's just love shutting off on me. Um, it wasn't like a year thing. Like I have been back and forth with YouTube for a while. And so it's kind of been a slow, gradual process and um, a lot of growth a lot of growth from it um but it w is by no means was an overnight thing for me and not that i'm i've made it but you know what i mean like hitting 10k for me is a milestone so point is like well this past two years about i've been pretty consistent and just really finding who i am and what my purpose is and kind of growing and um developing myself and and just being more confident and um consistent so everything is kind of starting to be in a flow now which is awesome but to get back to the fact that dealing with discouragements because I could in this amount of time I could have stopped doing this for 
I mean, so many times, so many times in my life, I've dealt with so many different things that have gone wrong or just dealing with discouragement or um, lack of hope. And I mean, my marriage in itself is a testimony. If you know us or you know my story, um, you know, there were so many times where I could have given up or felt like I wasn't going to be in a, I wasn't going to get married. The thing is, like, if I would have listened to everybody who doubted, you know, what I believed in my heart with, was, was to marry Danny and just said, I don't trust you, God, like, whatever, I'm giving up on this. Like, it was like year, it was years drawn out, you know, and I could have lost all hope. I was discouraged. I went through many nights. I was, like, very sad and and lonely and just like wondering when things were gonna turn around for me um <clears throat> and then with like this with my, my passions and youtube and my creativity and all that kind of stuff like i could have just pulled back out of fear and pulled back because i felt like i was being judged or people weren't accepting of it or you know i wasn't getting enough followers or people weren't commenting and i just felt like why am i doing this you know what's the point but I knew in my heart that I had to keep pushing and I had vision and that is so key in whatever you're doing is to have vision. And I, I know you probably know, I say this all the time, but if you're new, I'm really big on vision because without it, there is no hope, there is no future. So you need that to sustain you, to motivate you, to keep you going. Um, and so I visualized having 10,000 subscribers. I visualized having 100,000 subscribers. I visualized a million, you know, like I visualized so many different things. And YouTube is just a small part of like the bigger scope and what I see. But it's such a blessing to me. And first of all, like I, I just want to thank you guys so much for being so supportive. Um, you guys encourage me all the time. It's why I do this. You guys put a smile on my face. Anytime I see a comment, I get so excited. Back to you guys. Um, if there's something in your life that you're struggling with or you're just feeling really low or insecure, discouraged, um, I just want to encourage you to keep pushing because it takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of energy. It takes a lot of time and focus and discipline and... Um, practice to do what it is that you want to do you know if you're in school and you're struggling and you just like don't see the end of the, ro the road and you don't see the light at the end of the tunnel or if you're working and you're you're just feeling like a lack of motivation or just a future um i just want to encourage you you have to have goals you have to have a vision you have to see the bigger picture not just what's right in front of you because it's going to take hard work to get where you want to get and, and not to sound cliche that's it's really the truth and, um, what's I gonna say? Oh, my best friend's in the other room, so I'm, like, I'm, like, thrown off right now. Um, she came here to surprise me with, uh, balloons and a card. She's so cute. Right. Whatever it is that you're pursuing in your life in any area, you know, whatever it makes you, is making you feel, like, just negative or you're feeling insecure about yourself, um, I just, I just hope that you can see past that and I hope that you have faith and hope um, because and and just understanding that you know it's not it's not crazy it's not weird that you feel like that everyone goes through it it's totally normal but just don't stay in that you know it's okay to like kind of accept where you're at and just feel a little upset or just be down but um, instead of just dwelling in that negativity for a long period of time you know take that little moment and you know be in it because it, it, you don't want to push that away because that's not healthy so be in that moment and then take that and figure out how you can use it as tools to get you to where you want to get or use it as a tool to grow um i kind of talked about this on my valentine's day video just like kind of using that um to fuel your energy all of the negatives in your life and all of the like the discouragement all the ruts all the hard times all the financial hardships the heartbreaks you have the disappointments and letdowns are all character builders they're gonna make you a better person and it's not fun to hear that in the moment you just like okay well i don't want to be in this i've learned enough i i want to go get to the next stage i get it believe me um i've had many tears of over different things in my life um 
and struggled financially a lot and struggled in a relationship a lot in the past and I get all of that. I get all the heartbreak. I get, even in, in family stuff, I've dealt with a lot of uh, drama growing up when I was little and you know, all of that shaped who I am and as much as I'd like to change certain things at the end of the day, I wouldn't be who I am if I didn't go through those things. Like if you were to got, not go through anything in your life and you were to just it would be all, you know, positive, you would have no depth to you. You know, you would just be like, everything's great. No one ever suffers. And I, I got here to where I am and everything's perfect. Like it's not real life. Like that's not, that's not what happens. So I feel like the more you go through and the, the deeper the hurt and the pain and the more letdowns or insecurities you deal with, um, the stronger the outcome is going to be, the more depth you're going to have as a person. And you're just going to be so, so much more beautiful in the end. And I just think that you should really, really accept that and thrive off of it. Right? Today may not be great, but tomorrow may be amazing. Because literally things can change in an instant. Like, it's great. Life is crazy. I don't know. I, I know this was kind of all over the place and... I don't know, I, hopefully this was helpful to you guys or just motivating in some way because I don't want you guys to be sad. I don't want you to be discouraged. I hate that feeling. Um, but there is light at the end of the tunnel. I promise. So just keep pursuing what it is that you want out of life. Find your vision. Um, find your confidence. Seek truth. Um... I know this isn't a Confessions of a Christian Woman, so I don't want to put too much faith in here, but at the same time, it is who I am. And, um, you know, seek that. Seek faith. Seek answers. Um, God says, knock and the door will be opened. And um, so I just encourage you to, to ask. Yeah, I love you guys so much. Please subscribe if you're not already. Comment your thoughts below. Um, and I will see you in my next video. But before I go, again, thank you so much for just being a part of this journey with me and for seeing past my flaws and seeing the real me and um, laughing at my stupidity, you know. I will see you in my next video. Love you, bye.